Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to another video of Universe Sandbox. I'm here to tell you, or learn you something, however, you, however people say it these days, I don't know. How to make a habitable planet out of, well, just about out of everything. But before this video starts, I'd be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy any of this content, and be sure to check out my other stuff as well. Got a lot of other videos on here, especially of Universe Sandbox. Or, I got a few of those. Most of them are destroying things. <laughs> All of them fun. But, anyways, let's get down to it. So, um, let's make a... You know, I'm gonna make a homemade sun too. Why not? So I'm gonna make a sun out of Deimos. Or a star, sorry. Look at this lovely little thing. This has a kind of a cool texture. Right? Now let's make it big. Um, yeah, that's fine. There we go. Let's change in color. Alright. Now let's put their lovely brother Deimos on here. So I'm using a moon this time because at some point whenever I was trying to make this recording- Oh, sorry, Flash. Uh, at some point while I was trying to make this recording, I used a asteroid to make my habitable planet, which might have been the reason why it I couldn't get that recording out because I kind of kept screwing up with it and for some reason the atmosphere just wouldn't stay on. Although that could have been an issue with gravity. I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, let's get this up. Uh, core is fine. Uh, okay there. And it should be in a pretty stable orbit. Yep, that is perfect. Also make sure uh, whenever you're, you're using the habitable zone to use like the place that's pretty close to the red zone but like not completely on, just like the very seam of it. Just cause although this entire thing is a habitable zone, this is about as close as it is for Earth to the sun. So yeah, let's make a little something out of demos. Music kicked up. That's fun. So yeah, let's make sure that everything is just fine. Oral period, two years, that's fine, considering how uh, massive we made the star. <sighs> um... What's the rotational period? I think I already skipped that. Okay, that's fine. Right. First up, let's try out the magnetosphere. So you want to make a magnetosphere uh, about twice the size of it. Uh, about a little less. There we go. That might not be massive enough. Hold on. Mm, there we go. Alrighty then. Also, uh, whenever you're doing mass and stuff, make sure you check the gravity and make sure that it's good enough. Or at least close enough to Earth. This might be a little bit of an issue. Hold on. I don't think gravity went up. Uh, <laughs> apparently I forgot how to do gravity. I don't really mess around with it that much. A little bit more dense. A little more. That's pretty good. That's good. So, now, let's go ahead and... Use the uh, atmosphere. So you want it to be pretty close to like matching the radius of it. One atmosphere is generally good. 
can't really see it or can't really see the number that well because of these three arrows right here just don't worry about it just make it I might have typed in the wrong thing one oh also if uh, you think that the atmosphere is appearing and it's like kind of reddish feel free to change the color of it and if you can't see the color just uh, go out and in again and bring it up to let's say blue just like our atmosphere All right, that's good. So yeah, let's make sure that's not going anywhere. That's fine. Now then let's try and put some hydrogen clouds in here. This might be a little bit of a problem because sometimes the hydrogen just wants to blow away the atmosphere, which is never fun. Boop. You want it to be about as equal to the atmosphere as possible. And sorry, it just kind of I made a flash. Sorry. <laughs> yep, atmosphere is staying. Also, if you want, you can turn off the magnetosphere. I'm gonna be spending it a lot, so yeah. There we go. And uh, you know, why not just put some clouds? coverage a bit more there's a lot of different cloud types doesn't really matter what kind you want just choose any let's go for wispy for one of them and fluffy for the other one all right and uh i'm also gonna just real quick so i can see a little bit better i'm gonna hide the atmosphere and clouds for a second now let's put on some water so if the water and hydrogen kind of blow away, sorry, I, I really don't know how to help you. <laughs> I actually have a lot of those problems, too. I don't know how to make them stay. Right, and... There we go. That should be pretty good. So everything should be in check. The uh, tilt of the axis so that uh, this kind of moves around a little bit. This is a little bit high, but we could fix that. Just need to move it away a little bit. Oh, and make sure you keep track of the orbit because you don't want it to be, or you want it to be a bit more stable like Earth's orbit. So it doesn't like get too overwhelmingly hot or too overwhelmingly cold. So yeah, let's make the distance just a little bit further. And boop. There. That should make everything better. Hopefully. I don't know. Might increase it a little bit. Oh, and by the way, if you see a little bit of snow, don't mind that. It's all good. That might be a little too much. Uh, let me make it just a little bit closer. I know that that's like the whole point of the habitable zone is to show you where you can go, but like it's a very general concept in Universe Sandbox. And maybe a touch further. <laughs> I know I, I'm, I'm going a little bit too much with this, but I don't care. It should be a lot lower, but I'm not sure why it isn't. 
Maybe I need to tilt it just a little bit more. So yeah, there's going to be lots of like tiny tweaks, unless you don't really care. Which, if then, nice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Not sure what this does. How effective the bot emits energy and its thermal radiation. Let's try to lower that, see what happens. Maybe just a touch more. That's pretty good. It's a good temperature, good magnetosphere, good atmosphere. Actually, let's check the magnetosphere just in case. Sometimes it could blow away, but that's normally in a, in a more catastrophic vent, like, say, a supernova. But yeah. Mag magnetosphere, composition. Let me just uh, check this just in case. Perfect. Nice. Uh, tilt is nice, I believe. The temperatures are pretty dang habitable. Gravity is okay. Let me just check again, just in case. Yes, that's good. Nothing is blowing away, and it's been several years. Everything is looking fine, and you're not just for fun. I'm going to edit the surface a little bit to make it seem a little bit more green. Because I'm not sure how to add vegetation. I don't actually think you can. But still. So let's, uh... Oof. That looks weird. Make that like that. Uh... Let's make it a little bit gray there. Right about... There. That's good. And also, you could feel free to screw around with contrast. I'm not gonna do as much because, like, I just feel like it. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. All right. And if you want to test it and see how good it is, then up here you could just or anywhere. I don't really remember where they are specifically. I just like to search them up. You can search up Earth similarity up to 94%. That's good. And life likelihood. 85%. That's good. Or about 80, 86, considering it's teetering on 0.8 to 0.9. So yeah, that is how you make a habitable planet out of just about anything. If you guys are having problems, I'm sorry. I, Again, I don't know how to help you. I kind of have a lot of problems too whenever I'm making stuff, which generally depends on what object I choose because I think it's just like not everything tries to go for the same thing whenever you try. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. But let's say if you were to make the same thing they made demos into out of, let's say, ah, there it is. Uh, 2014RC, which is my general go-to, but still, uh, it might not go for the same thing. And it can also depend on the star's conditions. So, yeah, it could be just like a normal habitable zone like this. It could be a gigantic star that's like kind of like bigger than like a, the red part. It could also be something like... Let's say ETA Karen A B, which doesn't actually have a habitable zone, considering the light that it puts out. I mean, there are like blue stars that have like habitable zones, but like say like the crab balls are, it doesn't work. <laughs> but yeah, that is how you make a habitable planet. And I hope to see you guys again in other videos. I also hope you guys can consider liking and subscribing. Uh, oh, wait, I forgot to say, uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful.
No, uh, I can try the outro. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh. I'll see you guys later. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy any of this content and want to see more. And check out my other stuff as well. Uh, also, be sure to wash your hands, follow all quarantine procedures, and uh, social distance and stuff, and get vaccinated whenever it's your turn. Don't want any of you guys getting sick. There's one more thing that I always seem to forget. But, uh, whatever, I guess. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!